Well, good morning, guys. This is Denise. Welcome to my channel. Um, some interesting developments happened last night. Um, Colorado is known for uh, a loud booming noises. They've been reporting them on the news for you know, the last couple of years since, I think, 19 or uh, 2017. 19. I'm aging myself. Um, but I've been hearing them here up in Salida for a couple of years too. And I usually hear them in the mountain range. I'm at the base of Mount Chavano, which is one of the 14ers. And that's where I also videotaped that very bright, bright light at the very top of that mountain top, you know, which of course was not a car or ATV. There's no roads. Um, it was way too bright to be a car. I wouldn't have been able to see the lights if it was a car. It was just too far away. Um, but last night, you know, I've been telling my husband this for two years. Do you hear those booming noises? And he's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And so last night we're sitting here and we heard the noise. The, and I haven't heard it at night before. And he was like, what was that? And I'm like, that's the booming noise I've been telling you about. And so today, the dogs were barking on and off again. And, you know, they bark, bark at strange things. Leo sees a bird fly in front of the window and he barks at it. Um, but then I realized when I came out here that it was more of the booming noises. And um, so it got me thinking with everything that's been going on lately. Here it is March 8th. You know, we're once again in the time of... Uh, the Aquarius and um, you know uh, old lies and old uh, paradigms are falling away and bringing we're coming into the new now and and um, everybody's talking about how you know what's it's really amping up it's really amping up and I was talking to my friend my very good friend Sylvia Molera uh, yesterday and we were comparing notes about what we've been experiencing and she's been seeing the, the pink wave lights and you know, I remember I did that video last year of the dream I had about the rose light that was coming in and, um, you know, I was at the grocery store and people were freaking out and they were coming to me because I was telling them it was okay and I was trying to explain to them what was going on. And so more of the pink, pink light stuff, you know, pink wave going on and on. And um, so... Um, when I was here, when I heard that loud boom last night, it just got me thinking because I know when they were doing the reports on the news, which I was really surprised. I listened to a couple of them and, you know, they want comments from the people. And one of the comments was, <clears throat> could it be aliens? And the news channel did not poo-poo that idea for once. And they said, well, actually, we don't know. We don't know what it is. The government isn't telling us. Um, the Air Force, we got Buckley Air Force out there. They're not telling us. They thought maybe it could have been like a small industrial accident, but I've been hearing them now for since 2017. And um, so hearing that one last night, and my husband actually heard it for the first time, really got me thinking. And uh, since they cannot um, come up with any explanation, you know, could it be Gaia doing what she needs to do? bringing herself into the next phase. I mean, we're all talking about, we're all in this purging. We're going through this purging now. We're purging out all the negativity and those um, controlling, negative, depressing, pushing you in the box emotions. And, and we're purging all that to make room for the vibration of love. We're actually finding our heart centers once again. And you know, I talk about this all the time. And so the more we purge, um, the more we're able to bring in the light and more we're able to access our heart centers once again, our love center, that love frequency and that love vibration. And so I'm thinking that the more that we're doing that, the more we're bringing in the next higher frequency. But these booming no noises, you know, um, people have been ca capturing um, pictures and videos of not just one or two uh, spacecrafts, but fleets of them 
uh, many, many, many of them at one time. And, and I was wondering, well, I wonder if there's any booming noises or anything, you know, uh, associated with when they come in. And I thought, you know, well, maybe what's happening is the mothership, you know, maybe it's Pleiadian, maybe it's Arcturian, maybe it's Andromedan, maybe the motherships. Um, I would love to see Athena, um, the Arcturian mothership. I would love to see Athena. And maybe they are coming in and they're coming in and out, in and out, and in and out. And when they're coming in and out, it's causing that frequency shift and it's making that booming noise. And so that's what I was thinking, you know. Um, thinking outside the box, guys. And I thought that was really cool because, you know, they're talking about how Source said, okay, you dark lords, maybe I should rephrase that, you, whatever. We know who I'm talking about. You know, Source gave them some time to experience, experience being controllers and said, oh, your time is up. And, but when their time was up, they said, no, we're going to keep playing this game. We really like this game. And, um, and so they went against Source's wishes. And now it seems like because we're seeing more and more and more of them and we're getting more and more contact, that Source is saying, okay, enough is enough. We're giving the green light for the Alliance the light forces, whatever you want to call them, to come on in and start assisting us. And I think that's what's happening. I think we're getting a lot more assistance now than before because they are not giving up. They're not, you know, throwing in the towel. They just want to keep going and going. And their time was up a long time ago. So I think uh, we're really experiencing that. And um, we're going through a huge purge. We're all going through this purge. We've been going through this purge, 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 purge. And, you know, people have been experiencing all those symptoms of um, sudden aches and pains and chills and migraines and headaches and nausea. And, you know, I went through that a couple months ago where I was just like, all of a sudden, I just had these horrible chills and these aches. And, and so I went to bed and the next morning I felt fine. Um, you know, so we're all, we're at the edge now, we're at the precipice, you know. It's time to, it's like um, when I was talking to Sylvia, it's kind of like, okay, we're all at the edge. We all got the go and we're, we're going, okay, we're free now, we're free. But it's like my horses, they're in a fenced in area with, with um, electric fence and they know what the electric fence does so that keeps them in but if i turn the electric fence off they know it's off but they're still afraid to come through because they think they're going to be zapped again even though it's off and they know that they're free they're still afraid to make that first step they're first, they're afraid to you know go over the edge and so it's, yeah, it's also like a chickens that we got many years ago when I was a kid. Um, we, we bought chickens from this egg laying farm and they'd never seen the light of day. And we thought, oh, we're going to buy these hens and we're going to build them this beautiful yard. And so we built their barn, made this beautiful yard for them. We had to actually throw them out the door, the chicken door. And as soon as we threw them out the door, they came rushing right back in. So they didn't realize what freedom really was because it had been programmed that there was nothing else outside of their hen barn, you know, where they lay their eggs. So I think this is where we're at now. We're, we know that we're free. We know we're on the other side now, but we're still um, worried about taking that first step. And I think once some of us take that first step and then the rest of us take and the rest of us, you know, it's what the hundred monkey, um, but so we're going through that right now and, and, um, our diets once again are changing and our diets fluctuate, you know, we tell everybody, listen to your body, you know, I was vegan and vegetarian uh, for a long time. And then, then all of a sudden it was like, my body was saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. I really need some extra meat protein. And so I was eating some fish and some chicken. And then all of a sudden now 
it's changed again. So I can't even, I can't even uh, stomach chicken right now. It's my body is just like absolutely not. So I'm listening to my body and uh, Satan is one of my favorites again. So you get the Italian flavored or the chorizo flavored and, and I live off of Satan. And um, so, you know, we're all going through some, uh, some of these changes and uh, we're just, it, it, we're really in exciting times. And, you know, in talking with Sylvia, you know, we were saying that it, we just feel the excitement building, the excitement's building. And um, um, it's kind of like uh, you're being told you get to go to Disneyland, but you've never been there before. But you heard how cool it is. You know, it's so cool over there. And, and you kind of know what's over there, but because you've never been there before, you're, you know, you're, you're not really sure, but you're just so excited. And it's like, this is just being a kid waiting to go to see Disneyland again. So that's what we're all feeling. We're feeling that excitement. We, we know that this is happening. Um, we know we're into it now. It's not a matter of waiting. We're in, you know, Sylvia and I said, we're in the event now. We are in, in it and it's happening. It's unfolding before us. And it's our, always been there. We are just, um, you know, still climbing that ladder to get to that uh, level. And I think that's like, you know, with the starships coming in and out, I, I think um, they're waiting just like the inner earth people, you know, why would they want to come to 3D? Really, why would they want to come to 3D? So they're waiting for us to do our work, to climb up a little bit higher. And as we're climbing a little bit higher, they're coming in and giving us more assistance. It's like they're there with their hand and we're climbing our way up that cliff. You know, they're not actually, uh, you know, put a rope around us and pulling us up. They're holding their hand out and, okay, you got to do the work. You got to meet me. You got to come up to where I'm at. So I can grab your hand and I can pull you in and, um, you know, go from there. So a lot of things going on in my dream last, not a dream. Um, I woke up this morning at 4.40 a.m. And I know the number four is associated, associated with Uranus. And I know um, Uranus is... Um, kind of hanging around and, and really doing some deals with us right now. And so the number four is uh, associated with that. And I see fours and ones all the time. I see threes and sevens, threes and sevens, threes and sevens. Now it's fours and ones. Uh, 11, 11, one, 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 four, one, 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 four, 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 one, you know, all of those. And so this morning I got up and something woke me up. And it, I, it, something woke me up. I woke up and I went to sit up and I couldn't because it was like, what I, it was like, how can I explain it? It's like being inside the Titanic when it was, with the, it was going upside down. And so I felt it go upside down and I went with it. And it was like a, I was a turtle on my back. And it was just, totally disorienting it kind of freaked me out and it was not a dizzy spell it was like there was this flip and I felt it and then I was trying to write myself so it was almost like when I was sleeping I was already on the other side I already shifted and then when I woke up and and came into the present and the now I had to shift again to get into my physical body because remember we're taking our physical bodies with us this time. And so that alone um, caused me to be very nauseous. I was very nauseous. And um, so I had to lay back down and just do some heart focused breathing and really bring in the love and the attempt, you know, just calm and ease and it's okay and I know what this is all about and then I was able to get up at five o'clock and um, 
you know, do my morning deals. But I thought, I thought that was very interesting. So things are really happening. We're all experiencing different scenarios. Um, but because we're acknowledging them for what they truly are, instead of going, oh, I was really sick last night, you know, I better go to the doctor. Because we know what it is and we're acknowledging it, we're bringing it in. We're actually integrating and we're wa stepping into that now. And so um, interesting times, people. Um, really interesting times. And I'm so excited. And, and um, you know, we all should be excited. We really worked hard. And, I, you know, I think we're, we're there. I think we're there. It's going to be a really interesting year. So that's all I had to say. And uh, if you hear any booming noises, let me know. Um, and what your ideas might be, barring the Air Force or earthquake or uh, industrial accidents. I mean, they already investigated all that with the news and found that none of that really um, resonated with, with what is going on. And I know we've been hearing them all over the world, but you know, I've been hearing them a lot here in the, um, the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. You know, I'm at the 14ers. So right at the base of Mount Chavano. I actually was going to broadcast this outside, but it got really windy. And uh, you know how the wind works with the microphones and my microphone isn't for some reason working that great. And I can't afford to buy another one. This is the second one now that I just bought. So anyways, exciting time, guys. I just wanted to um, catch up with that real quick. And um, we'll talk to you soon.